This is an overview of the ITG Center Project Performance Metrics. I'm Margaret Miller. In previous videos, we began defining the 13 project metrics. We learned that there are four core metrics that are pulled directly from data in ITG Center. The remaining nine metrics are calculated from these core metrics. The four core metrics are actuals, also known as burn, plan to date, budget, estimated time to complete, ETC. The seven metrics that provide information about the current state of the project are earn burn ratio, earned, budget variance, percent complete, plan percent complete, actual minus plan to date, and earn minus plan to date, the schedule variance. In this video, we will focus on the two metrics that forecast the future state of a project at its conclusion. There are two metrics that forecast the future state of a project at its conclusion. They are Estimate at Completion, EAC, Variance at Completion, VAC. In addition, the Estimated Time to Complete, ETC, is also very useful. Let's look at a definition for each of these metrics. Estimate at Completion, EAC. The estimate at completion shows what the total effort will look like for a given activity at the end of the project. It's the estimated time spent in days at completion. The calculation is estimate at completion equals actuals plus estimated time to complete. ETC. It is important to note that this metric will only be valuable if ETCs are being updated throughout the project to accurately represent the remaining effort for tasks in the work plan. If the value for EAC is equal to the value for budget, it indicates that the project is currently on track and it is expected that the project will be completed as budgeted. If the value is less than budget, it indicates by the end of the project, it is expected you will be under budget. If the value is more than budget, it indicates by the end of the project, it is expected you will be over budget. Variance at completion, VAC. Variance at completion shows the difference between the total projected effort and what was budgeted for a given activity. It is a prediction of how far ahead or behind we're going to come in at the end of the project. The calculation is variance at completion equals budget minus estimate at completion, EAC. A value of zero means that currently it is projected at the end of the project you will have spent the exact number of days budgeted for an activity. A positive number indicates that currently it is projected at the end of the project you will have spent less than the number of days budgeted for an activity. A negative number indicates that currently it is projected at the end of the project you will have spent more than the number of days budgeted for an activity. Estimated time to complete, ETC. As we have seen in an earlier video, the estimated time to complete is the estimate of remaining days needed to complete an activity. It is one of the core metrics that is pulled directly from approved timesheets in ITG Center. As I pointed out in a previous video, timesheets capture the estimated remaining effort as it is updated by project participants and reviewed by their managers. Once the timesheet is approved, the estimated remaining effort is used to update the estimated time to complete ETC data that is reported in the metrics portlet. The one value, estimated remaining effort, represents the current value that is reported in timesheets. The other value, estimated time to complete, represents a point in time value and it relates to the metrics as of time period that is selected in the portlet preferences. 
Another important thing to keep in mind is that the accuracy and usefulness of the metrics are very dependent on the quality of this core metric. ETC is used in calculating several of the metrics, including earn-burn ratio, earned budget variance, estimate at completion, percent complete, variance at completion, and earn minus plan to date. Let's see an example of these metrics in the Dream Institute Tracking App project. Let's revisit the Dream Institute Tracking App project three months into the project and let's take a look again at the design activity. We saw previously that actuals and plan to date still looked good, but that some of the other metrics, such as the earn burn ratio, is showing some variance. If we look at the estimate at completion, EAC, which is the sum of actuals and ETC, and is a prediction of total effort at the project's completion, we see that for the Dream Institute Tracking App project, that we are predicting that the project will complete over budget. If we look at the variance at completion, VAC, which is a difference between the budget and the estimate at completion, and is a prediction in days of how much we anticipate the budget overage to be, for the Dream Institute Tracking App project, we are predicting that we will complete 15 days over budget. That is unless we take some corrective action or unless we're able to make up some time by completing the remaining work more quickly. This is the end of Lesson 4, the fifth video in the ITG Center Project Performance Metrics Training. In this video, we focused on metrics that forecast the future state of the project at its conclusion. In the next video, we'll continue analyzing the metrics for the Dream Institute Tracking App project. We'll look at some tips to keep in mind when viewing the metrics, and we'll follow Jane Redding as she considers what corrective actions to take to get her project back on track.